Hey everybody, welcome back to my vlogs. I'm so excited because today we're gonna talk about my San Francisco trip. I recently just went to San Francisco for my birthday. My new my like New Year's or new birthday resolution was to travel all year. I've barely been anywhere in my life. I went to New York once and then I went to Las Vegas once. And when I was in Las Vegas, I was in Las Vegas for like, like a night and I was 16. But when I went to New York, I was out there for a couple months actually, but I didn't do anything exciting. So I decided that this year I'm gonna travel and I'm gonna enjoy my travels, but then also just like see a bunch of different places that I have never seen before. And so the first stop was San Francisco. I mainly chose that one because I have a friend that lives in San Francisco and um, she was telling me about cheap flights. And so I booked a really cheap flight because of the one she told me about. So I booked that and I went out to San Francisco for like three days. So let's get into everything that happened on my trip. What was so great about it and some of the things that I learned while I was out there. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to this video. And let's go on a trip. My throat is so chapped actually because I've drank I've been drinking way too much sparkling water. I've been drinking a lot of like flavored sparkling water and it is like bad. It's getting bad in my throat. My throat's kind of coarse, I think, because of it. All the carbonated stuff just I don't I haven't drank normal water in like a day or two. <laughs> Okay, so for me, this trip started with getting luggage. I don't have any luggage because I don't travel much. I don't have a suitcase and I don't have a duffel bag that I can use whenever I travel. I have like two big backpacks that I use if I ever need to carry a lot of things. And that's whatever, what I use whenever I want to travel. So I decided to finally get myself some personal luggage. I made it a gift. I bought it from Amazon. I thought it was really important for me to get it because I knew I was going to use it for a very long time. So I wanted to get something that I really liked. And I wrote myself a little note for it because this was also an emotional moment for me. One of my goals is being a minimalist, which we'll get back into some other time. But I learned from a YouTuber that it's important to have a good set of luggage that way I can keep my most important things in there instead of having so much tying me down to a place. So I wrote myself that cute little note just saying about how important it was that I got this. And then this is the bag. Maybe I'll review it someday. We'll see how it does. As of right now, I'm ending this video post San Francisco. So as of right now, like I did kind of fuck up the bag a little bit. Like there's a couple tears in it because I overstuffed it. What I need to do is also get a normal suitcase. So now I'm just like, this is me packing. I was like chilling, looking at the bag, listening to Ken. Oh, I love the Barbie movie. It was so brilliant. But I, I was I was feeling myself. I had also gotten that blouse. When I shop, I tend to get a few things at a time. But, you know, I figured I should get something new while I'm out there. I also got myself a little cupcake and I ate it to kind of celebrate my first trip of the year. So now I'm on my way to the airport. And this is the stories that I put on my TikTok and my Instagram. Um, I like to use my stories to just keep in the moment. Now here's the real plot twist. I had taken my edible gummies with me and I didn't realize that I can't take them on the plane. So I ate them all in the bathroom. I literally saw a sign saying, if you have it, you'll be arrested. And it included gummies. It said it on the freaking sign. So I literally got out of line, went to the bathroom, and was like, I'm about to just eat them all. So I ate like five or six edible gummies <laughs> in the bathroom. I was like scared, but I was like, this could be fun. Like literally my plan was to get off the plane and go to a party. So it might not be no, no big deal. 
And it really wasn't. You know, I was feeling myself in the bathroom right after I ate them. I was just like, okay, girl, you like, you did that. You did that, okay. You ain't smuggling nothing, but you almost had a smuggle moment. This is me eating the last one. I was still a little nervous, but I was like, I ain't tossing them. Here's one little video I got from the party. It was a really cool party, and I didn't spend time recording anything, because not only was I high as a kite, but I was drinking liquor. But we played this cool little drinking game that I never played before, and it was fun. I also met some nice people. That guy in the blue, we ended up hanging out and vibing for the night. I also have a really bad story about my friend, because she took me to this party, and she kind of turned on me, but he was there for my rescue. Yeah, my friend literally blew up on me that night because she was mad how high, how high I was. But I literally handled myself well. And the gentleman in the blue, he, he was like, I got you. We're, we're going to go to this club. I rode in this car and everything. He was such a gentleman. And my friend was tripping. I was like, girl, I've never been here before. Like, you cannot be going off like this. And not only was she going off, but I wasn't even, like, that bad. Like, I could handle myself well. But she was just tripping. She was awesome. Come so this is the Music City Hotel, and I'm telling you, I am so glad I chose this place. My friend, the one who was tripping on me, she told me about it. I had a really great price. What's up, y'all? So here I am in my hostel. I got a hostel, but it's a good one. And I have to say that because all the hostels that I am familiar with aren't like good things. And have you ever seen the horror movie hostel? Oh, oh, this one's so much better everybody here i am in san francisco right now i'm in my hostel which is one of the coolest hostels i have ever seen it's the music city hostel in san francisco What's up y'all? So I'm out in San Fran and right now I'm about to take a bike ride to the Golden Gate Bridge. I found a way to hook up my little tripod thing. So I'm going to get me footage of me biking all the way to the bridge. It's going to be so much fun. One of my bucket list items in life is to cross the Golden Gate Bridge. I've never actually drawn out a bucket list, but 
I knew that I that's something that I just really wanted to do before I got either too old or I died. So I rented a bike for the day and I spent way too much on that bike. But, you know, whatever, YOLO. Um, I rode a rented bike that I spent way too much money on all the way to the Golden Gate Bridge. And that was a long, long trip. I ended up renting one of those Lyft scooters for like 67 bucks. It took me like four hours to get home. It was a lot. But it was fun and it was exciting. The big problem was that when I first started riding the bike, I had to go up a hill. So I didn't, I kind of recorded it, but I didn't really record it. Eventually, I got to um, another hill and I decided to just take a break and take all those photos. If you want to see those photos, they are on my Instagram. It's crazy. I don't know how they do it. Two people just biked all the way up this huge ass slope to the Golden Gate place. I can't. Uh-uh, I had to get off the walk. Oh, my God. But the views were awesome. They were so nice. I saw the beautiful ocean. They have, like, open, clear skies. I chose the perfect time to visit. The weather is phenomenal. Oh. There goes someone else on the way down. The down will be kind of fun. y'all i made it to the golden gate bridge i'm just eating some gelato a gelato bar and raspberry lemonade once i finish i'm going to take my bike across the golden state bridge that's one of the things on my bucket list is to, <laughs> to cross the thing so that's where we're at I wasn't able to get much of me crossing the Golden Gate Bridge because it was kind of hard for me. I'm not a great bicyclist, so I just didn't do it, but I had the experience. After I left the Golden Gate Bridge, I decided to take the bike to a beach. This is the route that I took and it was so beautiful. After that, I didn't get much other footage, especially on Halloween night. On Halloween, I went to a thrift store that was nearby and I got me a little witch costume. Got a hat and some fake jewelry and that little top there. I had the leggings before I had brought them with me because I thought I could do something with them and I did. I looked very good and I also made some new friends. The girls that stayed in the same room as me were very nice. They followed me on Instagram and one of them even offered to let me stay with them in Washington, D.C. I'm hoping I can go to Washington in December. Well, thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in Arizona in two weeks. I'm gonna have an Arizona video coming out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have some fun with one of my friends. All right, see y'all next week.